Hey guys, welcome to my channel and thank you so much for stopping by. So in today's tutorial, I'm sharing with you this Indian or South Asian bridal makeup look. This is basically a Muslim bridal makeup look and I created this double cut crease eye look. This is an Arabic style eye look and of course I paired it with a dark pink lipstick. Before starting, if you are new here, then hi, I am Nita. I upload makeup, skincare, and beauty related videos almost every alternative day. Please do subscribe to my channel. For that, uh, go to your YouTube app and press that red subscribe button. Also, press that bell icon next to it so that you get notification whenever I upload a new video. So, yeah, without further ado, let's get started. First, I'm taking this uh, Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade in the shade Black Brown. And I'm just uh, drawing the borders of my brows first. Then will be, I will be filling it in using smaller strokes. I already shared with you my eyebrow routine. I will link that video down in the description bar below. So, you can go ahead and check that out. Now, I'm just combing my brows with a spoolie so that there is no excess product. Now I'm taking this Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in C7 and I'm just cleaning up the borders of my brows so that my brows look well shaped and sharp. I'm also applying the same concealer on my eyelids to prime uh, my eyelids for eyeshadows that is coming up next. I'm just blending everything out with my Real Techniques Beauty Sponge. Now I'm taking um, this Coty Airspan Loose Powder. This is uh, translucent extra coverage loose powder and I'm just setting my eyelid so that the concealer does not crease now I'm taking a st statement from my profusion cosmetics wanderlust palette and I'm just applying it as my transition color this brush is again from Puna store all the products and their shades will be mentioned in the description bar below so please go ahead and check that out now I'm taking go girl which is a pinkish purplish color and with this elf blending brush i'm just applying it slightly above my crease because i have hooded eyes if you do not have hooded eyes then apply the color directly onto your crease i'm just building up the pigmentation this eyeshadow palette is so so good i'm so impressed with this palette if you are looking for a uh, good uh, budget friendly eyeshadow palette you can totally give it a shot now i'm just cutting my crease and for that i'm using the same uh, lip brush from puna store and i'm just winging it out a bit like this uh wing kind of effect i do not know what it is called i'm just doing that and i'm just applying the same concealer all over on my eyelid and i'm just again setting my uh, eyelids with the same translucent loose powder now um with a matte black eyeshadow i'm just um creating a wing eyeliner kind of a structure you can totally see i'm so bad at explaining things this palette does not have any black eyeshadow so i decided to take a matte black eyeshadow from my maybelline the nudes palette and i'm just applying it on my outer v area and you can totally see i'm um, uh, creating a double cut crease and uh, there is a gap between uh, those two shades and i'm taking um enigma yes this is enigma which is a dark uh, peacock blue color and i'm just applying it next to the black eyeshadow and this brush is again from puna store and i'm also applying the same uh, color on my inner corners and you can see i have a uh, left a gap between that pink shade and these shades And I'm taking Cruise, which is again a peacock uh, blue color, but this is a shimmery shade. And I'm just applying it next to Enigma. I've also applied the same color on my outer uh, corner as well. Basically, I'm just repeating the same thing on my outer uh, corners as well as on my inner corners. Now I'm taking Stormy, which is a shimmery sea green color and i'm just applying it next to cruise basically i'm creating a gradation from a dark shade to a lighter shade and as you can see i'm applying the same shade stormy on my inner corners as well now 
and I'm taking Sirius which is a shimmery um, signet color this is a bit lighter than the previous one and I'm just uh, placing it uh, next to the previous shade and you can see I'm just repeating the same thing on both sides I'm taking um, frosting which is a very shimmery pale blue kind of a color and I'm just applying it on the center of my eyelid I'm taking this Revlon photo ready eye art in desert dazzle and I'm just applying it on the gap that I left just to make my double cut crease a bit prominent now you do not have to use the same palette for creating a similar look you can use whatever palette you have you can use similar colors as well and I'm just diffusing the borders uh, of that pink eyeshadow and for that I have taken Co Girl with this brush. Now I'm going to finish my face. For that I'm using this Wet n Wild Water Drop Primer in Rose. And I'm just priming my face and neck. I already moisturized my face about half an hour ago. This primer is again so so good. I'm just color correcting a bit. Of course it is a bridal makeup and color correcting is must. And for that I'm using this LA Girl Orange Color Corrector. And I'm just blending everything out using my finger if I blend out this color character using my finger it becomes a shade lighter which is a perfect color correcting shade for me and I'm using this Maybelline uh, Superstay Mac matting foundation in the shade 220 and I'm just buffing it in using the same damp beauty sponge from Real Techniques now for highlighting and concealing I'm using the same concealer and I'm just applying it under my eyes in a bigger triangular shape on the center of my forehead down the bridge of my nose, cupid bow, chin, on the sides of my mouth and just under where I'm going to place my contour next. Again I'm just blending everything out with the same damp beauty sponge. Blending out your highlighting concealer is really really important otherwise it looks like a straight white mark and it does not look good at all. And I say this almost in every video of mine. I'm just cream contouring using my wet and wild mega glue contour stick in where is walnut. And you know that real light in my forehead, hollows of my cheek, my jawline, and also my nose. Now again, I'm just blending everything out. Always uh, blend out your forehead contour and your cheek contour in an upward direction and your jawline in a downward direction. Now for blending out my nose contour, I'm going to use my finger. I'm just setting my under eyes and my uh, smile lines using the same loose powder and for that I'm using the same damp sponge. To set my entire face I'm using this Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder in the shade 001 Transparent and with this powder puff I'm just setting my entire face and neck. Next I'm going to finish my eye makeup. For that I have applied tons of loose powder underneath so that if there is any fallout I can dust it up later without spoiling my base. I'm just tie lining my eyes using my Jordana Easy Liner in black. I'm just smudging out my entire lower lash line using the same matte black eyeshadow. And this brush is again from Puna Store. Now I'm just applying Go Girl on the borders of that black eyeshadow. I'm just uh, creating a wing. Uh, not a wing actually I'm just lining my eyelid here because I have already created a wing using um, the matte black eyeshadow I'm just dusting off the excess powder I'm just coating my top and bottom lashes with my um, essence lash princess mascara I'm going to use falsies off camera for that I'm using these Adele fox mink lashes in 811 now I'm taking Illusion 
which is the first shade of this palette and I'm just highlighting my brow bones and my inner corners. And here is the final eye look. I truly love the way how it turned out. Now for my face, I'm taking uh, this Milani Silky Matte Bronzer in the shade 03 Suntan and I'm just warming up my face again. And this brush is from Wet n Wild. This is uh, the Wet n Wild Contour Brush. For my blush, I'm using this NYX HD Blush in the shade Electra and this is hell pigmented so you have to be really really careful. For my highlighter, I'm using this Milani highlighter in Afterglow and with this fan brush from Puna Store, I'm just hitting the high points of my face like my cheekbones, my chin, cupid bow, down the bridge of my nose, also the tip of my nose and the sides of my forehead. I'm just setting my entire uh, makeup using my um, L'Oreal 2 Match Lumi Makeup Setting Spray. And for my lips, I'm going with my Wet n Wild Katsu Liquid li Lipstick in the shade Berry Recognize. And that's pretty much it. And here is the final look. If you are following me on Instagram, you must know that that dupatta, that green dupatta and that chumar that I'm wearing on my head, they are made by me and I'm so proud of that. So yeah, if you like this video, then please hit the like button and please subscribe to my channel. Also, please share this video with your friends and family and let them know about my channel. If you are not following me on Facebook, Instagram and Twitter, please do follow me there. All the links will be given in the description bar below. So please go ahead and check that out. So see you soon in my next one. Till then, bye and take care.